Hey guys, guess you up? I'm Monica and in this video we are going to learn different techniques of using acrylic colors. Basically, I'll be using acrylic color to make different elements of a painting. But before we get started, I want to ask you one thing. Have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, please do because I'm making new videos every single week and this will really motivate me to make more. So please do subscribe me. Without wasting more time, let's jump right into the video. Shall we? Let's start with the first technique. We are going to paint the sky and here we will first use the white color which is our titanium white and uh, the cobalt blue. So I'm going to tell you how to use circular motion to make clouds. So I'm just taking some white and painting the background here. And then I'm using blue color. To make the background for the sky. So the first technique is making clouds using white colors. So once your background is ready. What you can do is that you can use a thinner brush which is like this and then dab into the white color and then we need more white color Then just do this to make the cloud. So basically you'll have to use the circular motion like this to make the clouds. It's actually quite fun to do this. So just like this. Now I'm making some clouds here. You just have to make the circular motion here with your brush and you will find beautiful clouds in the sky. So the first layer is not uh, very much of white, it's just a mixture of white and blue. But the second layer will show more. Can you see the clouds in the sky? This is how you can make clouds. It's quite fun. You can have uh, more white in the top and less white in the bottom for the clouds. But this is how you make the cloud. So this is our first technique. The second technique that I'm going to show you guys is making some trees so if you're making any scenery uh, you know tree is one of the essential component of it so we are going to learn how to make one I'm taking some uh, brown color which is a burnt umber and then I'm just making you know the trunk of the trees you can use a thinner brush maybe I'm just making any shape of the trees it's not like I'm just showing you the technique so suppose you made a skeleton for the tree these are the branches the trees are generally thicker near the bottom and it is thinner on the top the trunks are thicker suppose you have the skeleton for the tree right
now what we need is green color so I'm using red in hue and I'm going to take this on my palette and then I'm going to use also some yellow because if it is a summertime then you can see some yellow in the leaves so I'm using some yellow some orangish to make it more colorful so this is our permanent yellow deep this was lemon yellow okay so I have taken these colors now what you have to do first wash your brush and then take the green color the next technique that I'm going to show you is to dab to make the trees so you don't have to follow any uh, special technique here you just have to use the tip of the brush to dab 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 for the trees you can see I'm just dabbing it this is how you make the first layer of the tree idea here is to just dab and dab nice beautiful green trees dab 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 as you can see this is how the tree will start looking like this and next I'm going to use some yellow color to make this tree a little summer like so I'm just using yellow color and dabbing there's no fixed pattern like where you need to dab yellow color so you can just follow your imagination and then put some yellow in the tree so it gives more definition then I'm using some orange color This is a good summer time and then we can use orange, yellow, like this to make this tree. This is a very rough idea that I'm giving you to make trees. You can obviously use more thinner brass and make your strokes more defined. So this was the second thing that I wanted to show you. I'm just going to the trunks like this so this is our tree some shrubs like this this is the second thing that I wanted to show you the next technique that I'm going to show you is to make water so for that we again need a broader brush to paint the background so what we are going to do is to use some blue and I'm painting it the background blue for the water. Use horizontal strokes to make the background for water because water uh, looks like this actually. Okay, so you need to actually let it dry I'm going to mix some blue with black color so I'm taking some black basic black color and 
and mixing it with blue blue is our cobalt blue that I'm using and then what you can do is to use a thinner brush like this mixing some white color as well so it's a mixture of black cobalt blue and our titanium white so I have something like this now just take off the excess water and then do something like this So it will be higher elevation near the uh, bottom and lower elevation on the top. So you will see some sort of water waves like this. It is just going to calm down. You can define it a little more are you able to visualize this as water it's giving you the rough idea of how to make water some white color to make it more defined so you can use the white color between the waves to make it more defined like this what some edges this is a reflection of water down here so we are making reflections So basically, this is how you make the water. The next technique that I'm going to show you is to how to blend different colors. So I'm going to show you evening sky. So I'm using Scarlet Lake color. And then we already have the blue color. We will use a nice brush to actually it will be blue on the top and red in the bottom so this is how the evening sky looks like so you can take a little concentrated form of blue you don't have to mix so much of water So the idea is to make more blue like a deeper blue on the top and then a lighter blue towards the bottom so it is ready to get mixed with the red color. Next I'm going to use red color. I'm going to mix it up with the blue as you can see still it looks like two different color but we are going to slowly merge the red on top of the blue and you have to use very light strokes of brush you don't have to go all uh, rough with your brush here but you need to use a very light stroke less red on the top and more blue at the top the idea is to not basically show your brush stroke so you have to blend it blend it very very well this is how the blending looks like but the final thing here is to use some white color because white can go with all the color and it helps in blending so towards the middle where it blends you can use a little white these three colors by cobalt blue and the 
scarlet lake red nicely you have to be very patient while uh, merging the colors because it can take a while so basically this is how you merge the colors the next technique that i'm going to show you is how to make a starry night so i'm using a black color here so what i'm going to do is to paint the background black for the stars so i'm using a fresh brush to paint the background black I think I have made enough space for our starry night. The next thing that we are going to do is to you take some white color like this and then what you need to do is to dip it in the white color and you can take a little more water and we are not going to use the brush in the usual way so I am using my finger to basically make dots here so you can do something like this and you can see small particles of white going in the background so these are like a lot of stars then you can take a little more and if you want a bigger dot you need more water into the color and then you can use this and you can get a very nice starry nights so you can see how the color looks like here you don't have to basically paint each and every dot you just can just do like this spray it and your starry night is ready this comes very handy sometimes when you are making a very beautiful night scene so this was the fifth technique the next technique that i'm going to show you is to use acrylic colors as watercolor so it's nothing rocket science you can use a little more water and then do something like this as you can see it doesn't look very opaque like the other techniques that I was showing and you can just use more water to give this transparent translucent sort of look for example if I'm taking orange color and then I'm just I'm just using a little more of water you can get a very nice mixture as you can see it blends very well just like watercolor so this is like a watercolor painting so don't get scared of using acrylic painting I would say and you can mix water as per your convenience to give it the watercolor look so guys, these were the six techniques that I wanted to show you today. I hope you really learned something from this video. Thanks for watching and until we meet again, bye bye.